I think this is dry enough now. There are still some areas a little bit wet, but mostly just in the background. I could add a little bit more of that quinacridone gold into this area up here, just ever so lightly. Maybe even bring just a touch of it down a little bit more onto those areas of the face. Okay, so I just pretty much touched that, you know, down very, very softly. You can always diffuse it a little bit more with my paper towel. Worked on the eye a little bit more. I was make, trying to make them a little more dramatic. Sometimes it's hard to zone in on something when I'm filming. So, And then I wanted the hair to be a little less style, you know, stylized, a little messier. So I added some more hair. No, I don't like that one, and I just put that in, and maybe I can erase that one. Okay. Anyway, so now we're going to leave your face in here alone. Oops. And we're going to our flowers. I'm going to use my number six brush again. I like this one. It's a Daniel's, I mean a, I don't know what it is. So we're going to take a little bit of gouache, and I'm just going to put it right by my gesso. They can work together. And this is gouache, zinc white, and then Prinacridone magenta. I won't need as much of that. A little bit will do. I always put too much out, so let's hope I put enough. Okay. I'm going to just come now and pretty much, pretty much dance my brush down and around, just placing color on it. I don't want to scrub too much. I just want it to be very loose again and I'm just coming in and I'm going to go around those centers, rinse my brush and then just pull it out and you see some areas are covered, some areas are not. I don't want to do them all at once because they're starting to dry already as you can see so I'm going to just do them one at a time. Rinse your brush if you want to and then pull that color out. And some are going to be darker, some are going to be lighter. Depending on where they're located. And you're already getting a nice contrast between black and white and color. And reds really pop, I think, next to those neutral blacks and grays. I'm going to add a little bit of blue this time to my palette, which I did not do in the other one, but I'm going to make this a little more blue. So you've got kind of a violet color. And then I'm going to bring some of that into play going over what I already did, over the wet paint, not filling everything in completely. Need more blue, just add some. I don't want my flowers all to be identical. I'm just going to have those right there a little bit bluer. Now I'm not picking up any more blue. And again, I'm just 
holding my brush you know back I don't want to work tightly I just want this to flow and be pretty and I can come now too with some of this and just create some little flowers without lines around them just add them here and there and if they're too dark you know, just dab them a little bit with your paper towel yeah that one got a little too dark all the way around but probably not when it's all set and done it'll probably be fine okay so I can just come back with my chronocridone again in those centers if I've lost any color well, that's drying. I'm going to take this. Oops, I don't want any of that blue. I'm going to just take it without the blue. Bring that over here. Create a little puddle. This time I want it more transparent. And I'm going to come and lay it on those cheeks. And soften. A little bit on that lip. That might be a bit too much, and then I'm going to come down and bring it down just working while it's still wet control that brush there we go and I'm going to leave that for now bring a little bit of that white onto that lip and now I'm using my gouache anywhere I need come into my hair if I want to create some more lines erase some lines if I need to it's thicker it's the gouache is thicker than your watercolors it's also thicker especially the zinc for some reason maybe because it's older than the other or just a different brand this one is by Holbein and my quinacridone magenta is by Windsor Newton so you know brands make a difference too okay I'm going to move on I'd have to add I'm going to add a little bit more definition with the hair mm -hmm. said that now I don't like that and that did not come off right away did it so I'll just It'll be there, but it will be subtle. Okay. I think that's all I'm going to do with that. Anywhere I need a little more white, I can just keep adding that. And anywhere I need a little more shadow, I'll add that. Oh, 
my eyebrows need just a little bit, a little more shape so that they stand out a little bit more. Getting close to being done, I'm going to add a white highlight to her eye. And that one got a little light on the other side, so I want to darken that just a little bit so it's not just anywhere you need a little more definition. I'm going to add it now. Still a little. it up and make sure you're happy with it. Now we're going to take a little bit of our pastels and I'm going to be using I'm going to be using white, and I can use either a pencil or I can use a, um, a stick. And I think I'm going to be using mostly the pencil, though, and the soft. So I'm just going to come into my, and they're slightly wet, which I really like the fact that they are. I'm going into my centers. I need more hair here, don't I? And then this too comes down more. A little, just a little darker before I move forward here. Okay. That's that one piece of hair I and don't like. So I did that and I let that dry just a bit because I forgot my leaves. So I want to put in some turquoise leaves. 
I had drawn some of them in earlier. You can put them there or eliminate them all together. But I want a touch of that turquoise because we have it in our background. So all our colors are going to tie together. We've got these colors, the reds, into the face. We've got the background colors into the flowers and the, you know, the face. So we want everything to just kind of tie together. And some of these leaves will, you know, be more prominent than others. Some will just be an impression of a leaf. You know, just add color if you want to. And then with my hooker green, I'm going to just come in and darken just the ends of them a little bit. I want, you know, I want this to be very, very loose. Don't worry about everything looking perfect because that's not what this lesson is about. We do not need perfection. We just want to have fun and have a nice painting. Okay. Now, while that's wet, I wanted to come in here and scrape some of those on. centers and I can come and add some whites to some of my petals and you see it's very random I'm not really trying real hard I want to add any more white to the face so I can do that at this time and then add another little dimension and one more thing I'm going to do before that I am going to take my pink conte pastel here and now I'm going to go around my petals pretty much like I did with my pencil just you know interlocking my overlapping, interlocking, just make it very organic. You want this to look like you have fun. So we got that. So now I've got pastel on there. I have some paint. I'm going to come back with more paint. Now that paint is going to react with what the pastel that I have down, which is kind of fun. So I'm going to be using my Quinacridone Magenta, and this time I'm using it more full strength. Every now and then, of course, you're going to rinse your brush, and you're just going to bring that down and around very playfully. And then lastly, I'm going to add some more blue. To whatever is left here. And then come back and add some of those. These, they're wet now, so I can just kind of tap that into each one. It's not going to dry too fast now that they're wet. And so I've added some depth now. Well, some of those out, some of them I'll just leave where they are. And 
And if you want to add some gouache then to some of the, you know, if you've lost your center, you can add some of that cornacridone onto your palette with the gouache and come back in too and tap a little bit of that in. Now it's kind of fluid, so it's just going to bleed a little bit, and that's good too if you want to add some of that yellow on there. Do that as well. And then any more, anywhere you need more white. Now I've got my white dirty. I need to come from another area. Be careful not to add too much water because it does puddle. But now you're getting another effect. Just, just kind of fun. I like playing with that. So, I hope you enjoyed this fun little black and white girl, Miss Blossom. Painted your own. Enjoyed the process. pick up some watercolor too you can but now I think it's starting to get muddy so let's let's say she's done I did get a little something on her cheek here there we go you want to add a little bit of that blue to her lids you can you just enjoy it make it your own enough pink on her nose. I want just a little bit more on her nose. This area, the apple of the cheeks and the nose is always a little more pink. this brow before I finish. I started to earlier and then I didn't so there we go. I just didn't I didn't like it. I want it to be more brow like not so stiff. You want to add a little bit of splatter into your background. Now's the time to do that too. If you don't like it, just take it back off. Okay. Thank you for joining me in this fun little 